Oh my gosh, my loves, we are just about to find out about the energies associated with the full moon in Virgo. This is a really powerful time. This is a full moon, which is all about releasing what no longer serves you. You're gonna love this reading. It is all to do with communication. And I feel like the moment that you step into your power and you see what you need to do in order to move forward, it may not be easy for you, but just know as soon as you do that, it's going to literally nourish and heal your body, your mind and soul. So you'll literally be put onto the right path. Just trust the process and surrender and just know that everything is working out for you. Say that with me. Everything is working out for me. Everything is working out for me. So with that in mind, I hope you enjoy today's general reading. Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode. If you're new here, my name is Mel. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday helping you to release what no longer serves you so you can vibrate on the frequency of love, the most beautiful place to be. When you're at that phase, that's where you literally step into your power and you manifest the life of your dreams. I am living proof that you literally can go from a place where you're depressed and you've been in an emotionally abusive relationship to where you're literally vibrating on the frequency of love, engaged to the most beautiful person in the whole wide world. So I just wanted to let you know that whatever you've gone through right now, you are exactly where you need to be and everything is working out for you. So you just trust and let it be. This is a full moon, which is all about releasing what no longer serves you. I'm sure the universe is gonna be mirroring to you some maybe some uncomfortable things. Um, I've just had a look at the astrology for this time and it was kind of like, oh crap, okay. Basically, the full moon is just releasing anything that no longer serves you. So let's just see what comes up. So this is a general reading, so just take from it what feels best for you. So we're gonna to begin today going through the angel oracle from Doreen Virtue. And by the end of this reading, you're going to have a message that's going to stick out in your subconscious and you'll be like, oh my God. You may not initially get it within the first five minutes, but by the time I get to the end of this reading, that's where things are gonna make sense for you. And if they don't, sometimes that happens for some of you. Maybe you're not in the right vibration to hear this. You can look back at it at another time and maybe it'll make sense to you then. But anyway, just wanna let you know that you are where you are and it's okay. Okay, so let's get on. Angels, can we have one card, please, for the full moon in Virgo? Just one card. What do my MK Love Fam need to know? Oh, whoa, okay. Nah. Hold on, we've had a lot of drops. There were five cards that fell. Five signifies massive life tri. Tri massive life transformation. The card that was the furthest way I saw first and I wanted to pick it up. Oh, okay. And that card is play. This is a beautiful card because it's asking us to delve into the energies of a child. When a baby is born, they are born into pure positive energy. They have no resistance in their vibration. They don't have fear. They don't feel like people are judging them. They literally feel amazing. And that is the energy in which your angels are telling you, you need to spend more time in. Maybe you've become too fixated and focusing on the negatives. A way that can help you deal when you experience the, that contrast. Contrast basically means when things are opposite to how you would like them to be. So when you're in this pure positive energy, you are able to cope a lot better. This could be going out in mother nature. This could be, I don't know, what does self-love look like for you? For me, it's going for a walk at the beach. It's um, painting my nails, putting my rose quartz crystal on, putting this, I love this bandana, um, dressing up, drinking stovetop chai tea, Oh my gosh, what else do I love? I love doing readings. It's just so many beautiful things. If you have no idea what the flip I'm talking about, I've actually created a free self-love starter kit where I literally help you step into your power and I give you three strategies and tools to lit literally kickstart your day. So check that out if you haven't already. I've got um, over 400 people have already downloaded that and I've got some amazing reviews. 
Um, you can find it at melaniecakelove.com forward slash start here, or there's a link in the description. Basically, you need to, you need to play more. You're being too serious. Um, it says, beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. It's interesting because if you go back to the weekly angel guidance from February the 19th to the 25th, you will actually know that towards the end as you go into the first quarter, which is all about taking action, things were a little bit hectic, like super, super busy. Three words to basically somewhere up that whole reading would be busy, busy, busy. So they're saying, okay, you're being a little bit too busy now. This is time for you to just breathe for a bit. Not breathe as in stop what you're doing. What doesn't serve you? So it says, beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry, we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness and laughter will lift your energy so that you will return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. I feel like you need to infuse self-love into your day, however that looks like for you, but your angels are saying that play is a must. If you're feeling overly stressed and you need to play twice a day, um, yeah, let's just get more clarity on that one. What else do we need to know, angels? Okay. Oh, these are flying out. Hold on. Okay. We got this card again. This card actually came through for the new moon solar eclipse in Aquarius. That's interesting. So this is in regards to, it doesn't literally mean you're getting married, but you could, but this could be reflecting things within your relationship, either the relationship with yourself or your intimate partner. Um, it could be reflecting things that you need to change. Maybe you're being too serious and you and your partner need to like have a date day, or this could be for you to make sure that you're, could be taken so many ways. But this is a relationship card, relationship with yourself or relationship with somebody else. And that during this relationship, in order for it to bloom and to flourish and to be the best it possibly can be, it can't just be work, 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 work. You know, you just need to just, <coughs> sometimes I feel like you need to work smarter and not harder. To work smarter is literally to, oh my God, why am I coughing? <coughs> Is this a throat chakra blockage that needing to speak up? <coughs> I don't know why I felt like I needed to cough then. That's so weird. Okay, I'll read you this card here. Marriage is the union of two souls joined in mutual love and respect, or mutual love, respect and commitment. It signifies a desire to, desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a true testament to the well-funded path Blah, 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 blah. Basically, this is like a long-term relationship. This long-term relationship can be with yourself or someone else. So let's just get more clarity because this is a general reading. There's so much can go into it. Okay, so this is about relationships either with yourself or your partner, or maybe you are trying to manifest somebody, but your angels are saying like, you're overthinking it. You just need to take a step back we're still gonna get everything done. We're not saying you're not. We're just saying take a step back because you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now. And that's what you need to do. Oh my gosh. There is nothing to worry about. Everything that you're going through right now is divinely orchestrated. So yeah, you're feeling a little bit like, oh my God, I'm so busy. Like what the flip do I do? But the angels are saying, everything is working out. Everything is working out for your highest good. You just need to infuse more self-love into your day. So how does that look like for you? I feel like those things that could be mirrored to you that could be stressing you out, maybe, like tune into your emotions. How do you feel? Where are you on the emotional guidance scale? Are you at level 22 in fear and depression or are you level one vibrating on the frequency of love? Because your emotions are the perfect indicator to let you know if, if you're going, if you're going to manifest things into your reality. If you're at fear and you've become so overwhelmed because you're so busy in the first quarter of the moon and you know, it was just a little bit too much for you, your angels may actually direct you to a different path. So pay attention to your feelings. 
but they're just saying, you know, there's nothing to worry about. Everything is working out for your highest good. Everything, you have to just trust, surrender to the process, however that looks like for you and just let it be. All right, this is the Archangel Raphael healing deck from Darian Virtue. So let's get clarity on play, wedding, and there's nothing to worry about. What do you need to know? I'm gonna get that first card. It's the first one that I saw. Ooh, oh my gosh, I've never seen this card before. Do more research. I feel like that's where the play is gonna come into it. He's out in mother nature. There's two birds, which signifies this either relationship with yourself or relationship with somebody else or relationship in which you're trying to manifest. He's out in mother nature. He has one foot higher than the other. Um, as like he's moving, the energy is moving. And then he's got a stick as to say, I just get the playful vibe. Like he was moving and then he's kind of stopped a little bit to kind of like, as for a better word, smell the roses. And he's got these two little birds here that he's like got that childlike energy, which I think is, is that play card. It's like, get out in mother nature. Because when you're in that vibration, which is pure positive energy, that is literally, mother nature is perfect. It's perfectly designed where you are already vibrating on the frequency of love. And I feel like when you're in that state, maybe that's where you're gonna receive divine clarity. And that's why I work smarter when I'm doing self-love practices in the morning before I read for you guys. So I make sure I'm in the right vibration. So the prayer for this one here, I'll just read it to you. It says, Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for clearly and gently leading me to the information that I need to know for my well being. Please give me the courage to be assertive as I take charge of my health care needs. I feel like you guys are just a little bit overwhelmed. And you're just, I just feel like, and then I saw like somebody sitting down at the table and then like, uh, it's like the table, something happened. You know when, it's like, the, okay, that's really weird. It's like you're sitting down at the table, um, you're about to have dinner and then someone pulls, uh, is trying to be like smart and trying to pull the tablecloth out, but instead of doing it like they do on the movies and everything like lifts up and sits down perfectly, somebody pulls it and every and like basically like everything just goes flying. Um, that's really odd. But I feel like it's, it's like, what doesn't serve you? What do you feel like you need to work on? Because you need to do more of that because it's going to help you get into alignment. I just feel like the research card. But then it brings into well-being, but that could be taken so many ways. But then in saying that, when you are doing your self-love practices, it literally makes you feel amazing, which then it infiltrates into every other area of your life. Self-care is massive to help you cope with this, these times. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, let's get further clarity on that one. On play, wedding, there's nothing to worry about and research. What else do we need to know for the full moon in Virgo on March the 1st or the 2nd, depending on where you are in the world? What do we need to know, angels? Oh my God, these cards are flying. Have faith, because you gotta have faith, faith, faith. Da, 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 da. It's all working out, which is why we got this card here. I love it when two cards like, um, they join together or like they marry together the energies it's like you just need to just calm down it says dear Jesus and Archangel Raphael thank you for boosting my faith so that I may trust in miracles I believe in miracles yeah his hand is up can any of you read palms Pointing to like a circle in the middle of his palm. Well, that's what I see anyway. What do you guys see when you see this picture? It's very calming. I feel really calm and at peace now. Okay, let's get further clarity. 
So this is in regards to relationships, we need to play more. Because when we're playing more, it raises our vibration, which helps our well-being and infiltrates into all of our areas of our life so we can be more productive, get things done. And if things aren't working out the way that we had anticipated them, know that that is a blessing in disguise. All right, this is a numerology guidance deck from Michelle Buchanan. So let's see what this deck needs to tell us. Okay, so massive communication. That's so interesting because the astrology is all about the communication as well. So this is a communication with your... So I feel like if things aren't working out in your relationships, either with yourself, like maybe that's why I got the throat chakra, that's why I was coughing before. Ah, throat chakra is, is like... Um, speaking from like a place of truth what needs to be said that you haven't been saying before oh my god this is all making sense now okay what came up for you as soon as you saw the word communication I feel like if you need to say things that you um, don't feel like because this is like releasing things that no longer serve you. Maybe you haven't um, been able to speak for ages because you've been biting your tongue. Um, but I feel like the angels are gonna like, for a better word, make you cough, like make you, somehow will give you the courage to allow you to speak from a place of love. A way to unblock that throat chakra is to listen to my throat chakra guided meditation on my channel. That one is really, really good really good I actually made that one for my mama bear and I was like you know what I'm gonna put that on my channel and I really really love that one um, yeah it's so just speaking your truth what needs to be said sometimes we need to say things maybe communication doesn't necessarily mean speaking directly to someone this could be speaking indirectly if you're going to follow like um, I made a series called release blockages on paper where I get you to sit down and I go through three different letter writing techniques. One of them is to write a letter to someone that you need to forgive that you haven't been able to do it. Um, that could be another way to help you. My Forgiveness Heals Guided Visualization is a 30 minute powerful guided visualization infused with sound healing to literally help release this pain and this blockage I feel like my throat is getting all tight. I probably shouldn't have worn a, a tight a neck kind of thing um, to help you release that blockage. I know a lot of you have already purchased it and I've received incredible feedback from. Is this, if this is something that you've been thinking about for a while, then this is the energies to, to do this because the energies that we're in now is going to be lasting, lasting for the next six months. So if you've been holding your, your breath or your tongue for a bit, it's time to release that. Um, there's so many ways. So the letter writing technique, my guided visualization, the throat chakra one, and my forgiveness heals um, that's available in my shop for $9.99, that's Australian dollars. Wow. I just wanna go straight to the tarot and then I think that's it. I didn't wanna pull any more from that deck. Okay, this is the angel tarot from Dorian Virtue. I just feel like my esophagus is being like, like not someone strangling me, but I just feel like I need to take a deep breath. I need to just undo the back of this a little bit. I just feel really tight. And I feel like, like I need to, I can feel that before you guys get to this communication and you swallow your, your pride, I can feel like you're taking a really big gulp. Singing is another way to help clear that throat chakra blockage. And if you watch my Insta stories, you would see that I do that quite a lot. All right, let's get clarity, okay? So we just need to release what no longer serves us. We need to step into our power and we need to speak from a place of love. Woo! Because when we speak from a place of love, we know that we are serving our highest good. How other people react is a reflection of them. So just keep that in mind. If someone's gonna blow up at you, that's not a reflection of you. I would be so proud of you for even getting to the stage that you feel ready and to be able to say what you need to say. 
this card came up in the last week on Angel Guidance. This is there's too much going on, like you're going to be super, 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 super busy. Um, events, okay, so events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. So I feel like this energy was actually carrying over from the first quarter. Whoa, so what color do you see as soon as you look at that? Because that will then identify the different chakra that you need to unblock. So yeah, so things are moving super duper fast. Maybe once you step into your power and you release, the ring is starting to fall off because of the air conditioning, it's so cold in here. Um, I feel like once you get to this phase here, I feel like this, this card is like what this whole reading is about, speaking your truth. Um, and I feel like once you do that, that's when um, all the delays are over and you're literally getting the movement and what you need to, because I feel like as soon as, think of it like this, if you're in a boat and you are paddling upstream, because that's what happens when you don't speak your truth and you just allow someone to either treat you like shit or, um, I don't know how else to say it. If you're in a situation that doesn't serve your highest good and you're allowing it to continue to happen, you're biting your tongue. And I feel like as soon as you release that, like as you're doing that, you're paddling upstream. You're making yourself tired and you're making yourself stressed and, and, and you're just so overwhelmed and it's like probably the tears are coming on. You're like, why? And then as soon as you speak from a place of love and compassion, and you could just say, it really upsets me when this happens. Um, if you speak from a place of love, it's going to be a lot easier for you. And I feel like once you do that, that's when you turn your boat around in the rapids and the current just takes you where you need to go. And where you're going to go is going to be the most beautiful and the most delicious energy that you have ever experienced. You know how I know that is because if you go back to the new moon in solar eclipse in Aquarius general reading on my YouTube channel, the, the energies were just so powerful. It was all about expecting a miracle and you're going to get that miracle, but you just have to release what no longer serves you. And I know that you can do it, you know, because I've been there. I've been the person that has just walked away from a relationship that no, no longer served me. I walked away from a job that no longer served me, even though it paid a crap ton of money. Um, and I was able to pay cash for my car, you know, but it wasn't serving my highest good. And I don't know guys, what came, what's coming up for you right now? Whatever is literally, like, now I'm getting a pain in the chest. So this is like, yeah, this is a matter of love. I feel like this is to do with the relationship, either yourself, relationship with your romantic partner. Um, the self-love could be literally having the balls to say what you need to say if you're in a situation that doesn't serve you, however that looks like for you. Okay, let's get one more card. So I've got a heart chakra blockage and a throat, and the throat one is very powerful. This made me cough, what the heck? Isn't it good that the angels can do that though? Like, oh, I don't know if you'd say, it, it is good because I can feel it, but at the same time, I'm like, what is happening to me? All right, let's get more clarity. I feel like this will be the last card because we're already at 22 minutes. Angels, what's the final piece of the puzzle that we need to know? Whoa, okay, whoa. Okay, so we've got the Knight of Earth. Earth, this is a beautiful card. The Knight is a very, um, normally a fast moving energy, but this, this Knight here is like standing still. He's like not really, he's not moving. Like he's pulled the, um, I don't know what you call it when you pull the horse back, this, I don't know what the flip it's called. Um, he's like pulling it back to like go, whoa boy, like slow it down. So it's time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. So I think because like things were moving so fast, you got so overwhelmed, but I feel like as soon as you speak your truth, that's when you'll be able to, I think that's when, whoa, this card is like hot. I feel like that's when things are gonna start moving in a more comfortable and a more easy, well not easy. I, I don't know, I just feel like things are just gonna be more pleasant for you once you do that. Loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. The night is just a really beautiful, 
beautiful card. Like this, he's like kitted out in all this beautiful armor. The horse is just stunning. He's in mother nature. He's surrounded by, um, like he's on a journey, but he's like, I'm just going to stop for a bit. And I feel like he's stopping because you need to do this. And once you speak your truth to whatever isn't serving you, maybe it's even confronting yourself and, and being honest with yourself. Like, what are you doing that isn't serving you? If you are overeating and binging on shitty foods, be honest with yourself. What do you need to do? And once you be like, I am where I am and it's okay. I am learning to nourish and heal my body in healthful ways. And once you do that, he's like, okay, you got it sorted. You know, like he's moving again, but he's not moving just yet. And I feel like that's where I think that's, I don't need to pull any more cards for you guys. But I feel like the abundance is gonna come once you speak your truth. Anyways, my love, I hope that helps you today to help you deal with the energy, the full moon energies in Virgo um, around March or the set first or second, depending on where you are in the world, please comment below because I would absolutely love to hear what's coming up for you. If you need help at all, I have so many ways that I have mentioned in this video. Download my Forgiveness Heals Guided Visualization. Um, I'll link my, my chakra playlist for you so you can click the little cards up the top. Um, but yeah, you really need to play to help you deal with these energies and speak your truth. I know that you can do it. This is the most powerful card out of the whole lot. Speak your truth because when you're in that, you are literally speaking from a place of love. And I just wish you so much love and happiness during this time and lots of strength and courage as well because I feel like this could be a bit of a difficult time for some of you. But just know that everything is working out for you. This is a time for you to work out what isn't serving me and how can I stop paddling upstream and adjust my little boat so I can flow with the current of life. And I don't feel like it's gonna take you very long. If there's lots of resistance for you, then this may take you a lot longer. But if you're releasing each phase of the moon as we go through to the full moon, and releasing what no longer serves you, it's gonna be a lot easier. But if you haven't released what you've been holding on to for like 10 years, then this may be a little bit more painful, but just know that you can do it. And just say this, I am where I am and it's okay. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment below. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, touch the bell, turn it on so you get notifications every single time I upload. And I will see you on Sunday for our weekly angel guidance. Have an amazing day and just know love heals all blockages. Bye guys.